The global impact of the coronavirus is becoming more and more apparent by the day, and it has sped up since the WHO finally bowed to pressure and declared it a pandemic. As experts say, the best way to protect yourself is to follow the so-called social distancing. A number of major international events and sporting organizations are deciding prevention is better than cure, especially when there is no known cure yet. Our Choi Jung Yoon with more. Now it has been labeled a pandemic by the World Health Organization. The world is taking extreme preventive measures. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his wife have gone into self-isolation after she exhibited flu-like symptoms and was tested for the new coronavirus. Prime Minister Trudeau is not showing any symptoms himself and will continue to work from home, but said his face-to-face -face meeting scheduled for this week will be held over the phone instead. The coronavirus has also prompted the cancellation of major diplomatic events. The United Nations has suspended the 43rd session of the UN Human Rights Council, which originally was due to run through March 20th. Agendas that will still need to be dealt with will be postponed to June at the Council's 44th session. The International Labour Organization and the World Intellectual Property Organization have also postponed meetings until next month. Responding to the threats, sports organizations in the U.S. have taken very strong steps, barring fans from games or even suspending their season altogether. The MLB announced the start of its regular season will be delayed by at least two weeks, and all spring training games have been called off. Three or four major American professional leagues, the NBA, NHL and Major League Soccer, have completely suspended their seasons. The delay is expected to buy some time for the MLB as its regular season was originally scheduled to start on March 26th. Choi Jung-yoon, Arirang News.